Welcome to the Phone Arena review of the Motorola i465 Clutch. The Clutch is Motorola's first IDEN unit to feature a full QWERTY keyboard, but beyond that is a basic and ad level phone. With just a $39.99 price point, or $129.99 on Boost Mobile prepaid, the device is well priced for what it is. It's a good size, very basic, yet it's a thin, very rugged candy bar. It does meet military specifications for dust, shock, and vibration, which means it's going to take a bit more of a beating than the, your traditional phone. The layout is fairly standard. Besides the full QWERTY keyboard down below, you have the navigational cluster above that. Motorola still insists on bringing the menu button to the outside, something that we don't understand. However, you also have a hard-coded speakerphone key and then your traditional D-pad, soft keys, and send and end buttons. The top has a somewhat unique twist to the right side of the display. Here we have shortcut keys for messaging, web, and camera. The left side of the phone has a very small volume rocker, the direct connect key, and if we open up the port, it also has the micro USB charging and data port, as well as a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack, which also has support for the ring that allows you to do direct connect over a wired headset. The back is very simple. It's coated in soft touch paint and has a little bit of ridging to it. At the top sits the VGA camera. The right side of the phone, the top, and the bottom have nothing. The speaker is actually in this dead space here around the keys. As we've come to expect from IDEN phones, it is extremely loud and we have no problems hearing it. Call quality on the phone as a whole was very good as well. If we bring up the main menu, you can see that it's the general same Motorola IDEN menu we've seen for years. There are several pages of main, menu, main level icons, something that we've always had a gripe with. We do have to give them credit because the system is very customizable. You can change the shortcut keys, the D-pad keys, you can reorder the menu and bring items in and out of it. Some people really like this customization, but on the whole, we think it's too large, too bloated, and too clunky. We long for the day when Motorola goes to a more streamlined interface, much like we've seen with their Sprint phones. Our biggest complaint about the 465 is the small display. At just under 1.8 inches and only 128 by 160 in resolution, it's pretty poor. Entry level phones these days often are having full QVGA displays and we don't understand why that can't be the norm anymore. Other than that, for what it is, the Clutch is a pretty good phone. It's targeted at people looking for QWERTY and messaging on the cheap and in that respect it delivers.